to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at edgeder.com. This is our first lesson of the whole journey and the whole series of introduction to an advance of Pro Tools lessons. This is the very beginning, this is introduction class to Pro Tools and very first thing we're going to be covering is definition and basics. In this lesson we will learn about Pro Tools software, Pro Tools hardware, a little bit of history of the uh, DAW, system configurations, audio interfaces works with Pro Tools system, powering up the computer and hardware, and finally we're going to take a look at the iLock. Pro Tools. What is Pro Tools? Pro Tools is the most widely used application for music and post-production in the world today. It is a digital audio workstation platform for Mac OS X and Windows operating systems. With Pro Tools we can do many things. Basically we can go over and talk about five major things. First we can record, edit and arrange audio. You can record, edit and arrange MIDI. You can view, write, edit, export and print scores in the score editor. You can mix your sessions such as effects processing, mixing, automation and more. And you can use in the post-production too such as big movies and others, TV and everything. Also we can use Pro Tools recording either live or recording larger orchestras for film scoring or other purposes. It is used a lot for the live sound as well. Another thing, another area that Pro Tools is used for is the dialogue editing. And Foley. Foley basically is a term that describes the process of live recording of sound effects that created by the Foley artists. We probably see in the picture here a Foley artist giving a nature uh, type of sound in a, maybe a TV episode or something with a couple of things there. And this Foley terms getting the name from Jack Donovan Foley who was a sound editor at the Universal Studios in 1950s and became popular with his sound effects. That's the term where it's coming from. One thing before we go any further, Pro Tools is an application that you could run with Mac OS X or Windows operating system as we talk about. So we will be talking about a lot of shortcuts, key commands, and one thing is very important definitely for Pro Tools, having a numeric keypad, because there are a lot of shortcuts requires a numeric keypad. And another thing we need to talk about, since we can run the program with both of the operating systems, key commands slightly are different, but in the origin, there's only a slight couple of differences in between the operating system. First of all, if we talk about Macintosh system, command key on Mac is control key in Windows, option key in Mac, will be Alt on Windows. And finally, Control on a Mac will be Windows or the Start key for the Windows operating system. So this is a major uh, differences in between the systems. If you're saving a session with Command S on Mac, it will be Control Save. In Windows, if you're copying with Command C, it will be Control C or if you're using the option on Mac you will be using Alt and so forth. We're going to talk about very little about history of Pro Tools. The reason that we are doing this is because some of you may want to take the certification test to become user uh, certified uh, by Avid and so this is basically this lesson is very parallel to especially the first two three lessons very much based on uh, the books out there about Abbott Learning series and that will definitely get you going with the text uh, 
that's required by the EVIT to take and pass this exam. So I'm going to keep it as short as possible, but if you're not really uh, looking for getting the uh, certification, I would also recommend you could skip a one or two lessons and getting into more hands-on practice because our lessons have a lot. Uh, directly getting the answers for your questions with the lesson subjects and that, all that.